The Monday CRM is a great beginner friendly but yet super powerful CRM and in today's tutorial I will show you everything needed to know to successfully implement Monday onto your business. Now to get started head over to the Monday CRM website, I will leave you a link for that down below along with chapters for today's video and by the way make sure to watch till the end to not miss out on any important parts. To get started we will have to name our contact sports so we could for example rename this to customers or something similar, I'm just going to leave this at the default and I'm just going to move forward with all of the default settings right here as we are actually going to start from scratch nonetheless. So perfect, now we are redirected onto the dashboard. On the left you can see the actual workspace that we are in, this year M workspace and additionally you can add new workspaces if you do want to using some of the great templates that Monday has to offer. So this for example would be a real estate CRM, customer projects and so on. I'm not actually going to do that right now, I'm rather going to switch back to the default CRM workspace. And then we are going to have different kind of sections inside here. These sections are actually called boards inside Monday and we for example do have contacts deals, leads and much more right here. So we are actually going to get started with the leads section right here. I will actually also drag this to the top so that we know that this is going to be kind of the first step when actually getting new customers. Because inside this leads board you are going to store contacts which haven't been qualified yet, meaning that you aren't really sure yet if these leads actually are interested in your offer. So basically we use the leads board to not cluster our contacts board with people who haven't been qualified yet. And if you're migrating from another tool you can actually also easily import all of your data using a CSV file. Additionally, you can actually also create yourself a form inside Monday to basically automate your whole um, lead getting process. You can customize this, you can share this, you can view the analytics and you can also automate this. But more on automations in just a second. For now let's opt out of this and let's head back to the main table. By the way, we can change the view of our different kind of boards right here and we can actually also filter them but more on that in just a second. For now if you for example do want to convert this lead right here onto a contact, you can simply just use this button and this will then automatically be redirected onto the contacts view right here and as you can see now this is going to be available. Now the contact board is going to be one of the most essential essential parts of your CRM. Here you can find any contact that your business either works with right now or worked with in the past. Same as in the leads view before, you are going to have multiple columns for your contacts. But what do they actually do? Well, I do want you to think of them basically as additional data sets assigned onto your contact. Now you are going to have some defaults right here, however you can also add your own columns to add other important information onto your contact. So now we could then for example open up the contact page. And this is kind of going to give us a broader overview of all of the different informations, all of the updates, quotes, invoices, as well as the activity log of our exact contact. And in this case, we can then actually also send out an email because Monday will actually seamlessly integrate with Gmail and Outlook. So in this case, I'm just going to select Gmail and I'm quickly going to connect my Gmail account. And now we are going to have the option to send out email messages and now our Gmail account basically is synced up to Monday. Additionally, we can actually display different kind of columns right here. For example, item names, board names, usernames and so on. And if you do want to, you can actually opt out of this and you can then basically select multiple contacts right here and you can then actually mass email them if you do want to. Additionally, right here you are then going to have the option to either duplicate them, export them, archive them, but this isn't really important as of right now. Let's now head to the next stage of our CRM. This would be accounts right here. This is basically going to be the place where you can find all of the different companies that you are going to work with. So right here we do have three sample companies added. We can then see the contacts that we do have for this exact companies. We can also see the deals, priority, industry and so on. And once again, we can add new columns right here if we do want to. So let's for example say that we do want to group these companies in two different sections. First of all our normal companies and then also high budget companies. In this case all that we would have to do is click on add new group right here and then I'm going to name this high budget and we can then also change the color of this. And let's for example say that this HSPF client right here is a high budget client. In this case I'm just going to drag it onto this group and now we are going to have it right here. 
Once we are done setting this up, we can head over to the client projects board. Now as Monday originally started out as a project management tool, you are basically going to get all of those features inside here. And you are also going to have an activities board where you can see all of the different activities going on. But let's now actually head over to the deal section. This is by far the most important part of the whole CRM. Now, first of all, this right here is going to be the table view. Uh, I think for the other boards, this does make sense. However, for the deals, I would recommend you to head over to the pipeline view right here and then to also set this as the default board view. So basically right here, we are going to have a visual overview of all of the different deals inside our CRM. Now, right here, we are then going to have different kind of stages and we are also going to have different kind of cards inside these stages. To edit the cards, you can simply just head over to this gear icon and you will then have to basically click right here and you can then customize everything and change the columns that should be added onto the card. You can also change the sub deals and so on. And you can actually also change the Kanban settings right here. Additionally, if you do want to actually change these um, different kind of sections, you will have to head back to the table view and right here on the stage, you will have to then click on edit labels. Right here, you can then add a new label. I'm just going to name this test and we can actually also drag this around i'm now just going to apply this and now under pipeline this is going to be added and we will have to also do this right here and now we are going to have a new stage now right now this does seem super organized however if you are going to have 10 20 30 50 deals inside here this can seem pretty messy quite fast to basically combat that, you can use any of these filtering options right here. So you can basically filter by person. You can also set other filters or filters right here. You can also sort this and much more. Additionally, you are also going to have a forecast view right here. And you can also add other views like table, Gantt, chart, calendar, Kanban, file gallery, form and blank view. You can then also access your sales dashboard. This is basically just going to give you a way more in-depth view of all of the different deals going on on your account this is actually great to keep track how many deals are actually won how many key deals are converting the actual revenue by month and a lot more and you can actually also fully customize this by adding new widgets right here or you can actually also delete widgets if you do want to monday is actually also going to offer you automations so you can see some example uh, basically template automations right here so you can for example easily set up that when a date arrives you will have to notify someone and this will then automatically send out an email through gmail you can then actually also basically um, create an automation that when an item is going to be created and set to a certain status this is going to do something and so on Additionally, you can actually also add your own custom automations right here. You can see them. You will just have to basically select the trigger and then you can add all sorts of different actions that you want to. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and I will actually leave you a link to Monday down below.